Hey, how's it going? So I'm doing the alternator radiator. I keep saying alternator. Radiator on my Traverse. Um, of course, it was leaking. I pressure tested it. And I haven't had time. <clears throat> so here are three things I would do differently next time around if I ever have to do this. Um, and everything's so accessible here that I may do this next time if I ever have to change the compressor or the alternator. I don't want to, but in case I do. Um... Number one, I would take this bar off. I'm not gonna do it this time because I kind of noticed it after I had already done it. Um, I can just take this whole bar off. There's an ambient temperature sensor here. You'd have to disconnect or undo here. And of course, unplug. Another alternative thing is if you don't wanna do that, you can just move it off to the side with the plug still on there. Just be careful not to put too much strain on that um, wire. And that would have given me enough room to move this back a little bit. Now, the condenser is sitting on the radiator. You can see right here that little tab goes on the radiator and it sits on it. Um, so you have to move this out first. So that, again, that would be helpful. That's actually my number two. I've seen people there say, oh, I've already cleared out the space. Unhook the hoses. Here it comes. And they just yank the radiator out. You got to take care of that. I haven't seen anybody really point that out. Um, so don't get frustrated with that. It's pretty easy to notice, but it's also pretty easy to miss. Um, so number three would be these plastic um, dust protectors. Um, I would have definitely cut and just kind of moved out of the way because this stuff will hold up the radiator and it's a pain in the ass. So um, you don't have to struggle with that. I would just cut this side and move it off to the side. Um, this one, of course, you don't have to worry about it. You can actually push it down. And if you take this off, you can just definitely get it out of the way. This will hold up, like I said, your radiator and it will be a pain in the ass to get out. Um, so there you go. Hopefully this helps you out. Two minutes, real quick. Letting you know what I would have done differently from videos out there. I know, um, of course, A1 Auto does it. And there's another channel, I think it was called TRQ, that does it. He does it a lot quicker. I like it, right to the point. But the other one is a little bit more detailed. Uh, but they did miss those details. So don't let that hold you up. The tab. And if you want extra space, get rid of the bar. Have a good one.